first of all, you learn what being in self means. And you can get to self by taking a breath. You can get to self by journaling, meditating, praying, going for a walk in nature, doing some work on your parts that have been triggered. So let's use the example of someone who's ambivalent about whether they should stay or go. There's parts that are grateful. There's parts that have had some good times. You may even have children. You may have income. You may have a lot of reasons for staying. And then there are other reasons where you're unhappy or you're not met emotionally, socially, spiritually, where you've been staying in limbo for a long time and didn't want to say anything about it. And now that you're ready to say something about it, you've got other parts that are feeling guilty and responsible and thinking, well, what's wrong with me? Maybe I can make it work. Maybe I don't have to leave. Deep breath. What I want to offer you is a program that you can take it step by step, either alone or with your partner to make decisions together. I'm Linda Kroll and several years ago, I wrote the book, Compassionate Mediation, how to add passion to your marriage or compassion to your divorce. I'm an internal family systems therapist for over 35 years. I'm a mediator and an attorney, and I'm also a Chopra certified teacher of meditation, yoga and Ayurveda. And many years ago, I went through my own divorce with my own college sweetheart with whom I'd been married for 20 years. And when we were in the courtroom going through the typical adversarial process where he was on one side and I was on the other side and our lawyers were off talking with the judge, making decisions about our life without us, I told myself there had to be a better way. And then I created one. And what it does, it gives you a framework for talking about everything, even the parts that aren't sure what you want to do, so that you can move forward, coming from your best self, creating a compassionate relationship, exploring your options, learning about your rights and finances, a way to then create the relationship you desire and deserve, even if it's not staying together but it gives you the tools to learn how to compassionately communicate and talk about everything.